Full throttle ahead! Coming in! Or not. <laughs> what the hell? Come on, I wanted to crash into that! How's it going guys? Dre here and today I'm very excited to bring to you guys Main Assembly. Now this one I'm very excited about. It's going to be coming out on October the 4th. The developers sent me it a little bit early to check it out for you guys and I think you guys will like this one. Now this is a vehicle builder sandbox game where we have to build robots as they're called to help out our human friends. We are this absolutely adorable robot at the bottom left, a hot dog included. Uh, so yes, you can totally customize the drone. I had to give him a hot dog because why the hell not? Uh, and yeah, we're gonna check out this game today. I did already do the tutorial, and the tutorial is actually really cool too. But uh, we're gonna do the challenges today and uh, get deeper into what this game is all about. I should also mention there's a sandbox mode if you just like building whatever the hell you want, uh, which we will do later on. But I want to try some of these challenges out. Now the cool thing about this game, in my opinion, is it's not just about wheeled vehicles. Logistics is a big thing in this game, and programming is involved as well. Uh, so for example, we might have to build something like a conveyor belt uh, in the logistics challenges. We're going to start off with the simple stuff. We're going to build just driving vehicles. We might go into the survival today. I don't know. We'll see where we get. Uh, but obviously, we're going to start off at 1, and this is down the hill. We have to open all checkpoints, poke all dummies, and park all the robots. No tickets, please. Sounds simple enough. All right, gotta say, love the art style of this game. Very colorful, very cartoony, and uh, it's just, it looks extremely polished, which is always nice to see. And here we are, hot dog included, of course, and we get to build right now. So, at the start, you actually do get uh, a pre-made vehicle. I actually restart, and we are starting off with the basic chassis. This has, you know what, we're even gonna take this off of it because I wanna start from the very basics. Uh, so this is the chassis. Each vehicle needs its own chassis, and you start off with this thing, and you can build upon it. And what I mean by that is, like, you can customize this however you want. So we're going to expand this up a little bit. Obviously, we need some sort of platform here. Uh, if you want, for example, some bars here, you can put bars there. What's even cooler is you can actually bend. So, for example, if we wanted to bend these bars outwards, we could do that, and that could should kind of show you how complex the building is in this game. We're probably not going to go crazy complex right now, but I do want a decent-looking vehicle, so I'm going to delete that. I don't want these uh, side things here, so we'll delete all that. Now, it is mirrored, as you can see. Whatever I do on this side, it gets done on that side, too, which is nice. I don't know if you can turn that off or not. Uh, we're going to keep it on for right now, anyways. All right, we're not going to go crazy right now. We're going to build something rather simple. Uh, so we got a box right now. Isn't it beautiful? And on top of that box, we need what's called a controller. Being that we're not humans, these are not seats. These are docking stations. So, uh, yeah, we have a docking station right in the middle of our wonderful little craft here. And uh, there's no, uh, I should mention, there's no, like, clicking into place. You can place these sideways. You can place them a little off-center if you want. Uh, so the amount of customization is pretty much endless. Obviously, we need uh, some sort of roll cage here to keep my dude safe. So we'll do that. Let's bring this up like so. Uh, I think what we're going to do is just kind of bend these inwards here, something like that. And we'll expand off of this. And we're going to bring this quickly down like that. I mean, the building in this game is just, it feels so good. All right, and there we go. Something like that should be good. We'll just move this. Uh, you know what? I'm going to bend this because I think that would look cool. You can bend it anywhere you want, too, as you can see. So, the, I, I, the people who are really good at building games are going to go crazy in this one. I know that for sure. And I'm excited to see what you guys can create because I'm not the best builder. I do my best, but uh, usually doesn't come out very well. All right. You know what? I kind of want to make this roll bar all the way down to here. That way, if we land on our roof, hopefully it rolls back onto the wheels. You never know. That's the goal anyways. I doubt that will actually work, but hey, we're getting somewhere with this. All right, now obviously we need some wheels, so first of all, we're going to put some motors on. Now, the cool thing about this game, in my opinion, is the motors are connected to the suspension. We obviously have uh, ordinary motors as well, basically just spinning blocks, and we have jet engines already in the game. Large, medium, small wheels. I'll quickly show you the rest of this stuff. We have different chassis types as well, I should mention. Uh, all the way from steel to plastic. I think we're using plastic, and these things can be destroyed. So probably not the best idea to use plastic, but hey, this first level should be pretty easy. Uh, we can also do attachments. 
I'm assuming we can disattach then. Uh, simple attachment point between parts of frames. I don't know. We'll have to look at that later. Friction pads. All the generic things in most vehicle builders. Pistons, hinges. Uh, so you can build those more complex things. Even servos, which is nice to see. We even got sensors. Uh, so you can make automated vehicles. That's for sure. Proximity sensors, gyroscopes. So uh, two-wheel creations. Even mono-wheel creations should work. Speedometers, which is nice to see. Uh, CPUs, advanced docking stations, simple docking stations. Don't really know what that's really about. Obviously, a lot of this stuff is very complex. We're not going to get into all of it today. But I did want to show you, even in this current early form, it's got a lot of the major blocks that you need uh, to have fun in vehicle builders. So, we're going to get to the wheels. We're just going to do a simple design right now. I'm going to do... Uh, Let's do small wheels. We don't need to go too crazy just yet. And being that it's mirrored, it should do it on both sides. Put wheels there. We'll put wheels there. And it's a very small vehicle, but I don't want it too big anyways, because I think we're going to have to get through some tight corridors and whatnot. Uh, let's try small wheels for right now. We're going to get off-road wheels. And bam. Look at my cute little rover. All right, but this is where the game gets a little bit overwhelming. It looks like it's already built for me, so that's great. But you actually need to program your blocks. Uh, Scrap Mechanic does this in a different way. This game basically has this grid pattern here, and you basically can customize this however you want. Automation can be a thing. Uh, we're not going to get too deep into this just yet because I haven't had time to, you know, play with this enough to really learn about it. But you can even go into advanced mode, have logic, um, states. I mean... There's going to be a lot of programming in this game, and automation will definitely be a big thing in this game, it looks like. All right, so there's our first vehicle. We'll see how long this thing can last. We might, I probably want to make it a little bit wider, and obviously I didn't build my roll cage big enough. You know what? Let's do this right. I want to actually build this thing. So we're just going to, uh, yeah, make this thing a little bit longer. It was way, it looks bigger right here, but clearly... Uh, this thing is not that big, so we're gonna bring this out a little bit. Oops, didn't mean to move that. We can control Z that. But yeah, so go back to the wheels here, and why not have a six-wheeler? That's fun, right? Now, did that automatically program? No, because we still only have two drive motors. Now, it's a little confusing, but from what I understand, one drive motor equals both sides, so technically it's two. So if we go into motors here, yes, we have a new one called Gamma. Uh, actually, Gamma's already there. Alpha, so I guess Beta would be the new one. We're gonna bring the power over here. I think this is how it works anyways. Again, I'm still very much learning, but now we should have power to all of our wheels now that we connected it to the input. All right, so that's done. Let's see how this thing can actually do. We're going to hit enter here and still kind of in my head. We'll obviously play with that a little bit later. Uh, now we might want even reverse wheel steering. The steering works, but it's not the greatest right now. Uh, we just gotta keep this thing nice and slow. So, this is kind of why I, uh, built the six wheels. I saw this guy on this thing. I'm hoping we might need to get bigger wheels. Yeah, there's no way we're gonna get up there. Maybe we can caterpillar ourselves up? No, it's too small, man. We're gonna have to lift up that front end or something, uh, if we want to get all these guys knocked down. So let's get back to the drawing board. Obviously, bigger wheels would be a good option. And I think I want to try and do rear wheel steering. So I got to figure out which wheels are which, though. Does it actually say anywhere? Off-road, does it say alpha? Okay, so it actually shows you we got the alphas, we got the betas, and we got the gammas. Oh, 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 come on. Is it the front hitting? I'm not sure. I feel like we should be able to get up there. That final step, man, that's a doozy. It looks like we are getting hit by the front end, though. So that's telling me... Maybe we just need better ground clearance. So what I'm going to do is just lift this up a little bit so we have like a skid plate at the front. That should work out well, actually. I think I'll lift it up a little bit more. There we go. Now we're a serious boat. Okay, let's see if that fix did it. I just got to get... See, I'm still not getting the grip I need. I feel like I do need bigger wheels. We're close. Ooh, we can maybe get the grip. I'm not hitting my front end. That's the important part. I fixed that at least, but that's still not enough. Now, as you can see, I am getting damage. There is damage in this game. I don't know if we're fast enough to really... Oh, yeah, there we go. See? You can lose wheels and everything, so it's nice to see that. I think there's voxel deformation as well. I could be wrong on that, but during my testing, I swear I bent a wheel. Uh, don't quote me on that, though, because I'm not certain. Uh, but, yeah, it's nice to see that you can actually destroy these things, because uh, that's obviously exciting. A big part of these games is destruction, obviously. All right, let's see if some big boy wheels at this front will help me out here. Maybe we should thin it out as well. I think this is all we needed, right? Oh, 
come on. All right, if we get a good running start, this ain't the perfect design, but it should work, man. Okay, come on. Problem is, it's a little slippery here. I didn't expect this obstacle to be so difficult. Wow. Come on. Come on. Maybe we should have went for multiple big wheels because this is close. Problem is, I'd have to expand out everything, I think. So I guess we're just going to have to do it. We're going to have to go for the big boys, man. Yes! Yes, I got him! Oh, my God. That was so difficult. Okay, so we screwed up at the end here. Get, it, get your leg out of me, you little jerk. Um, well, my roll cage definitely didn't work with how big this thing is now. That's totally fine. We got the first dummy. Let's continue on and see what else we have to unlock. Now, I doubt we're going to keep this design because it was kind of purpose-built for that little bridge. Uh, we don't really need that anymore. Where's this go? I kind of want to explore. There's obviously more dummies we got to find. They could be in the building, though. Uh, where are you leading me, man? Looks like it's just another way around. Ooh, almost flipped it. Uh, okay, I don't really see anything over here. Bam! Open up that one. Where's the other checkpoint? <gasps> Ooh. Oh, whoa, 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 what the heck? Hey, what? Whose is this? I didn't build that. Oh, I'm stuck on it now. Are you serious? Can I can I move it maybe? Oh, let me let me try and move this little thing. I don't know where this thing came from. But uh maybe maybe that's the uh park all robots inside. Maybe this is the robot I need. Wow, I am really stuck in there somehow. There we go. Whoa, easy tiger. Okay. We'll deal with that one later. Let's just get this one in. Plus, I want to see if I can jump this thing. So we're going to get some serious speed here. And, whoo, okay, a little too much speed. <laughs> All right, let's do a test jump. Smooth. Actually works quite well. You can see the physics in this. You drop real quick. Now, I don't know how I'm spawning all these in. Uh, I hope I'm not doing this wrong because I'm just spawning a crazy amount of vehicles in. Oh, my God. What the hell is that, a box? Okay, you can press non to respawn. Okay, I clearly... There, okay, you can't even open the options yet. Again, this is a very early version, so I guess there's no respawn button yet, which is why I'm spawning in all these vehicles. All right, screw it. Let's try this. I'm going to try and align it the best I can. Man, we're going to need some serious speed. The, the, the physics drop in this game is much more ag aggressive than most games. Well, the checkpoint's here at least, so if I don't wedge... Oh, God, I'm going to destroy my damn car. But yeah, the checkpoint's here, so let's see if maybe we can go inside and hit this guy. I have no idea. We at least can take the stairs because we've uh, built a vehicle that's made for that. All right, where the heck? Well, he was over here. I'm just going to explore. Can I open up the door? Hello? Nope, can't seem to open up the door, unfortunately. And I think that's where the guy was. Whoa! Shit. You got to warn me, man. Now, I wonder, can we go in the water? Uh... Uh, what? Hopefully I don't break this. We're just going to lighten this load a little bit. So we're going to delete that. Basically delete the whole back end. I hope we don't need this anytime soon because I spent a long time making that. And now it's going away. Large motor for driving. Suspension, yes. Steering, yes. Anti-spin, yes. Okay, well, doesn't really explain if there's more torque or anything like that. So we're going to keep it small just because that's what I've designed this with. We'll see if the light and load will hopefully give us the speed we need. And you know what? I guess we don't need these giant tires anymore either. So let's go back down to some large, or sorry, not large, some small off-roading wheels. And oh my god, this looks so weird now. <laughs> oh, I guess we can shorten it now. Okay, I feel like I'm going slower. It's probably just the wheel rotation. Yeah, I'm going much slower. So making smaller wheels was not a good idea. I thought maybe the weight of the wheels was screwing me up. That is not the case though. Let's go back to build. Uh, you know what we could do? I was going to go back to the bigger wheels, but what if we try jet power, maybe? Let's see if we did that right. So go back to build, enter. Again, seriously, where's my robot? Okay, we got jet power. That's that's all I want. I don't know if it's safe or not. We're just going to get back down there and test it out. Yeah, there's carcasses everywhere of just my, my bot experiments. Uh, all right, so here we go. I don't know if I'm going to actually be able to do this. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Let me actually get a good run running chance at this. Alright, here we go, man. Here we go! Jesus! Okay, we made it. If only I, I could have landed that. But the important part is we made it, so we know we can get, get up here with this build. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, what land it. Break, 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 break. Oh, that was so much better. That was so smooth. Okay, jet power worked out. Can't believe we didn't do a crazy flip or anything. Get the hell out of here, buddy. You were really hard to get to. 
All right, I have no idea where the other dummy is. I'm still looking for him. I haven't found him. Maybe he's up here. I don't think there's anything. Yeah, there's nothing over there. Now, are these the parked things I have to move, or is this just blocking my way so I can't go over here? And I can't seem to move it. That's for damn sure. So I don't know. Let's try and get out of this thing. Where, where am I? Seriously. So yes, like I said, uh, early version of the game. For some reason, I turned invisible. It's great. Well, at least we can test the speeds over here. Let's see what's going on with this thing. See how kind of kind of speed we can get going. Oh man, I'm excited for the sandbox. I didn't expect this thing to be that quick. Let's try and turn. Yep, that's not good. I just want to see the kind of destruction we can expect. Oh, dude. <laughs> the physics are great in this. And amazingly, they seem quite stable. All right, you know what? I'm going to go right into the building here if we can. Oh, God. Let's turn. Let's slow down a little bit here. I only got three wheels, so trying to keep this thing straight is going to be fun. I want to see if we can totally, like, blow up. Oh, easy now. Okay, keep going. Keep going. We're doing good. We're doing good. Full throttle ahead. Coming in. Or not. <laughs> what the hell? Come on, I wanted to crash into that. Look at my one wheel, man. It's almost invisible it's going so fast. All right, can we actually... Okay, we can actually use our propulsion to try and maybe flip us. But you know what? I'm just going to reset it. We, we, we have to find this final guy, man. That's all we need. Oh! There he is. Just freaking right at the start? Little... <laughs> I love the irony of him actually hiding worked. <laughs> Look at his little smug face, too. You little jerk. Okay, I'm looking through the whole thing thinking he's in there. He's hiding behind a damn rock. Of course he is. Okay, well, I'm coming for you now. Oh, God, I have spawned in too many of these things. I mean, to be fair, you really don't see him unless you're actually over here. I only came over here once, and clearly I didn't look this way. So where? Get over here, you sneaky bugger. Come on. Here we go. I'm just going just to just love tap you a little bit. There we go. Okay, we did it. We just got to park all the robots. No tickets, please. So I'm wondering, let's try and park myself and see if that's part of it. Oh, damn it, really? Ah, uh, so let's see what happens here. We're just going to park. Yeah, and then it's back to select a level. So that's obviously not how to do that because I've already tried moving this one. And oof, really? Really? After I get all the way up here, you're going to do that to me? Okay. Well, there we go. A little, a little bit broken, but it's fine. But yeah, maybe we gotta build some sort of forklift. I think that's a little bit too complex for me right now, and I don't honestly think that's it, but this is telling me that we need to actually park these things. Regardless, I think we're gonna wrap up this one here, guys. I just wanted to quickly showcase this game to you guys, and uh, I'm not really gonna rush out the content, just because there's only so many challenge levels right now, and I do want to kind of learn as we go here and get better at it before I do all the challenges and have nothing else to do. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was once again Main Assembly. It's gonna be coming out on October the 4th. If you wanna know anything more about it, links will be in the description. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of it. I think it's very exciting that we got another awesome view builder something a little bit different because it's been a few years uh, now than any other new one has come out that's you know pretty popular so I think this one's going to compete with a lot of them and uh, I'm excited to see how complex it gets uh, I'll be doing some more testing trying to learn more of the uh, like programming for example and yeah we'll be uh, back at it and hopefully more knowledge about how to actually build these impressive robots but yeah as always guys thanks for watching and liking and I'll see you in the next one